How are you today? You've been practicing? You've been working on that Moses code? We're going to enlighten a little bit the really principles and practices of getting this to work today and tighten it up for you. One of the main things we have to understand is your subconscious mind's primary objective is to make you correct. It's always working at saying yes to everything you say. So if you say yes or affirm something, even if it's bad, the subconscious mind's going to work to make that true. So when we're working with the law of attraction, we have to understand that what we say either has to be congruent, and if it's not congruent, it will be rejected. So as we phrase this out, and as we think about this, the first thing we do is get that feeling. We really think about what we want, and it has to be good for everybody. It's got to be a win-win for the world. And then the next thing we have to do is design a thought process, a complex equivalency, so to speak, where we can really feel it. And when we really feel it, action starts happening inside of our mind. And then the next thing is, we have to put more vibrations to it. That means we have to incorporate more neurology. We have to say it. We have to feel it. We have to see it. And now we have to say it. And all those vibrations working together create a massive imprint in our inner consciousness. So the words, I am that, I am. And that becomes that complex equivalency that we associate to what we want. And we analog mark that and just really say, I am that I am. Just before that, though, we have to create it so it's an unarguable phrase. And we got to say, becoming. I am becoming that I am. I am becoming that I am. The reason for that is, is because if we are becoming and we're really not there yet, the inner conscious mind will kind of go along with that. If we say we are and we're not, that's incongruity, and the affirmation just drops into the oblivion. That's one of the major secrets of the secret. So here's what it sounds like if you say the whole phrase. I am becoming that I am more and more every day in every way. Closing your eyes and really feeling it as you say it. In fact, create the feeling first, then say, I am becoming that I am more and more every day in every way. Work on that, work on that, work on that. Practice, practice, practice. Does it make perfect? No, but it makes you better at it. So work on that syntax or that way of saying that, and you're going to be surprised at what you bring to you. And understand that we just started this. Let's work on it this week. Tomorrow, what we're going to do is we're going to give a little more information to tighten that up for some of you individually, whether you're a visual person, auditory person, or a kinesthetic person, to really help you. So until tomorrow, remember, I am that I am, and feel it. Talk to you tomorrow.